Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how to become a successful web designer in 2019. So first off, you need to learn how to use WordPress. Now WordPress serves as your foundation because with WordPress, you can design pretty much any type of website, e-commerce, web directory, basic website, sales funnels, and all of that. So WordPress is a very, very good foundation to start from. And by the way, if uh, you're new to WordPress and you'd like to learn how to use WordPress, I have have a free course which you can go ahead and roll and go through that course absolutely free. The link to that is in the description below. And again, it's 100% free. Okay, so moving on. So with WordPress, you can pretty much design basic websites using the latest Gutenberg. It doesn't need to be very expensive. And by the way, WordPress is absolutely free. So that serves as your starting point. But now let's say you want to take this a step further and you want to design even more professional looking websites. This is where you get to choose a page builder. So a page builder allows you to even design even more custom websites and uh, the page builders out there, the most common ones are Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder, and Breezy. So picking one of those and then um, focusing on it and make sure that you master it, it's going to make your web design process much, much easier. Now, in my opinion, Divi is the best one, and that's the one I've been using for all these years. And this will take care of all your basic web design needs. So master your page builder, make sure you know it inside out. This will help you design your websites really, really fast. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about here is uh, slightly new. And by the way, some of these things I'm talking about today are similar to what I spoke about uh, in the last year, 2008 uh, video. But anyway, so in 2019, I think mastering how to create sales funnels is going to be very, very important because you are going to come across uh, some clients that are going to need basic sales websites. And these are maybe a few pages. So the client may have maybe a single product they're trying to sell out there. So this does not really need a fully fledged website. This needs a basic sales funnel. So what a sales funnel is, is pretty much a step-by-step -step process that a buyer goes through before they purchase that product. So learning how to create sales funnels is going to be a very, very, very good skill. Now, what comes with sales funnels as well, it's not just creating the pages, it's also the copy that needs to go on that page. So the wording that you use is also going to be a factor in people actually buying that product. So copywriting is going to be very good and also video video sales letters, you also uh, need to learn how to create those video sales letters in order for that page to be, uh, to convert very well. Now, while you're on uh, sales funnels, the next thing that also you need to, uh, that I think you need to learn is to generate leads. So you need a lead magnet capture page. And again, this is also uh, marketing funnels. So this is a page which brings leads into, let's say a company. And then after that, you can automate emails behind the scenes to really optimize and make sure that your customers will come back. So these two things are very, very important, the sales funnels and also the marketing funnels. So moving on, uh, when it comes to imagery, uh, I see quite a lot of uh, people using pixelated uh, pictures on their websites. Uh, I see this when I review some websites uh, on Mac University. And uh, this is a no-no when it comes to designing your websites. Nowadays, there are very, very cheap cameras out there which you can buy. And even if you're in a really tight budget, you can actually use your mobile phone to take some pictures provided you have very good lighting so having pixelated pictures is not an excuse and this makes your website look unprofessional so make sure you invest in a decent camera take some really good pictures and these pictures are the ones that make your website look professional so photography is very important. Now, if you don't have a camera and uh, the pictures that you need are generic, I would uh, recommend going to uh, royalty-free websites to download these uh, images from. But the bottom line is your images should not be pixelated. Right, so moving on, colors and branding. Again, this is something that is going to make you stand out above the rest because uh, the correct use of color is very, very important. So make sure every project that you use, you have a branding color palette that you have whereby those colors are used throughout the whole 
website and also on social media landing pages and other platforms. So this is going to be very, very important. So go out there, learn about branding, learn about uh, color theory, uh, learn about how to use colors correctly. This is going to be a major advantage moving forward. All right, so uh, moving on, uh, let's talk about ads. So gone are the days where, you know, a client will just want a website and that's it. Now that website in most cases needs to do something for you. Either it needs to create awareness or you need to be able to generate leads with it or you want to uh, sell products on uh, on that website. So in order for people to see your website, you need to invest in some sort of uh, traffic in order for people to come to to your website. And there's two ways to get this. One, and this is the slow way, is SEO, although it needs to be done anyways. So SEO is a long-term plan to get your traffic to your website and uh, also paying for ads. So ads is the other uh, you know, option, but with ads, I think you, need, you really need to go in and learn how to do Facebook ads, YouTube ads, Google ads, or any other ads you know, platforms out there, including LinkedIn and Pinterest. The reason why you need to do that is because it's very, very easy to lose a lot of money with these ads because they might not end up converting because of the way you set them up. So you learning how to... Uh, optimize your ads to bring traffic to your client's website is going to be very, very important. So I would say go out there, learn how to uh, use these ad platforms, uh, find out how to optimize your ads in order for you to get high, uh, high results. And this will be a key point moving forward 2019. Right, so moving on, I know I touched a little bit about SEO, but again, this is something that is very, very important, optimizing these pages so that um, when they start appearing on Google, they are highly optimized, and this is how traffic will be coming to your website. And you can use this as well to show your clients that, look, what I've implemented on your website is actually working, and here are the results. So these are the things that I think uh, will make you successful in 2019 as a web designer. I'd like to hear what you guys think as well. What do you think, uh, what skills do you think you need in order for you to be successful in 2019 as a web designer? Please leave your comments in the comments box below, just in case I've missed something. Now, again, I'd like to mention that if you're brand new or you want to learn more about uh, WordPress, I have a free course which you can access 100% free. The link to that is in the description below. Go ahead, enroll in that course, and you have full 100% access to that course. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.